Let's go up here. This time we know what we're doing. Cerebus collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Really? Hey, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Cosima crying all day long? Is this John Wayne? To ignore it yet. Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might, but still. I agree, it seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. Aye, well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The wazir says she's been pining for it. Huh. <laughs> If I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> Not only would it cheer up the princess, but the reward the wizards offered for it would make me pretty happy too, doggone it. <sighs> doggone oh, it. Well, our luck will definitely be out if the wizard catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my muzzle shut. I think me and my Winchester can help you there, Sheriff. Now... What I have to do with this is, um... Well, actually, notice what they said about the Nightingale. You know the Wizard plans on just totally killing that thing off. Good. Now I gotta go! Go, 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 go! Into the side area. Alexander hears the guard's footsteps pause for a moment, then start up again. They must have turned at the end of the hallway and be on their way back towards the stairs. Now I have to hurry up, otherwise they'll run right by me and see me again. See that? The guards pass the pillar, and Alexander sighs in relief. Phew, they didn't see him. The guards turn around at the staircase and head back. Alright, wait for it, wait for it. Phew, that was a close one. Now I gotta be quick. Alexander will have to walk up. Alexander. That's an interesting idea, but Alexander might want to... The... Alexander's... Hey! Oh, I screwed that up. Just stand there. Let's just go ahead and restore that because that was dumb of me. I know what I have to do now, though. I had to set the Nightingale a little bit earlier. I was being foolish. Now I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechan- I gotta hurry this one up. Alexander winds the mechanical Nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Better hurry up. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Oh god. Alexander duck. Yes! Look at this, Wolf! A metal bird! Sure is, Bay. How do you suppose a metal bird got in here? You got me, but there's something weird about it. Hey, could this be Cosima's nightingale, do you think? What, you lapdog? The princess's <laughs> nightingale isn't some tin thing. What, you lapdog? Do you know? Have you seen it? Well, no, but... I don't know, Bay. Humans can be pretty strange. Hmm. With their sense of smell, maybe she wouldn't even know it wasn't real. I say we take it downstairs to Captain Saladin. He'll know what to do with it. What about our post? Jowls and Mite are in the other hallway. They can handle it for five minutes. Think about how happy the princess would be to get her nightingale back. And then there's that reward money and my missus. 
Am I misses? Right, Wolf. Let's go. I do like how the guards are actually loyal to Kasima. They're doing the. Here's the guard dog's boots clank noisily. Yeah, yeah. And they're just obeying Alhazra because they have to. You know how he said five minutes? He meant it. I have five minutes to do what I have to do, so I gotta hurry. Alexander checks behind the portrait. Alexander pulls the nail out of the wall and keeps it. Yeah, seriously. Alexander finds the hallway door unlocked and... Okay, now that I'm in this new room, I'm gonna be actually... This is Wazir Al-Hazred's bedroom. So, I actually have to open that chest by picking it with a nail. Seriously. Alexander wiggles the nail in the trunk's lock until he hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. Good. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Al-Hazred from the wizard Shadrach. Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. Whoa. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. What? It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Ooh. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend! So basically, Wazir al Hazra's in cahoots with the late Mordak and another wizard Shadrach. Also, that black cloak has definitely relevance to the Oracle saying there was a black cloak and that's all she could see. This is bad news. Okay, so now that I'm back in the hallway, I need to head east. Alexander hears the muffled sound of crying coming from the back hallway. Ooh, that's going to be relevant the for me. crying is louder here. It seems to be coming from the doorway on the north wall. All right. Hello? Oh. Is there someone in there? Who... Who's there? Kasima, is that you? Nice. It's Alexander. Alexander, is it really you? When Sing Sing brought me your ring, I could scarcely believe it. How did you get inside the castle? Never mind that now, Princess. It isn't important. What can I do to help you? Do you want me to get you out of there? There's a padlock on the door, but I think... No, please. Don't even think about that. There are guards everywhere, and the Wazir would have you killed if he found you. You shouldn't even risk being outside my door. Please go now, Alexander. But what about you? I can't just leave you locked up like this. The only way out for me is to stop the Wazir. See what you can do out there. Uh, In the meantime, I should be safe enough. He hasn't harmed me. Yet. Uh, Besides, if I can get my hands on something with which to defend myself, I'm pretty sure I'll get a chance to use it. The Wazir feels safe around me. No one else can get that close. You're so brave, Princess. But it's too dangerous. Have you forgotten where we met? Yeah, really. It's Abdul compared to Mordak. I'll be fine. Very good now point. Go. Alexander hesitates. I'll do as you say. I will find some way to help you, Kasima. I swear it. I believe you, Alexander. Please, be careful. Yeah, this place sucks. I will help her out in two ways. Number one... Kasima, take this small dagger. It's not much, but perhaps it will prove useful to you. Oh, thank you, Alexander. That's gonna be great. I'm sure it will help. And then, also the letter. Alexander opens the letter. Greeting. It seems. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna pass it on. Alexander her. opens. Gre it seems. It. Ah. I wanna give her the letter. There we go. There we go. I found this letter in the wazir's bedroom. I. I think you should know what it says. This will be awkward. I can't believe it. Oh, I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. 
Alexander. You must take the letter. You might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop the Wazir. That is important. Okay. Now that I've taken care of everything I need to take care of, let's go back into hiding to activate the guards again. Alexander, here's the guards approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make this quick. Ugh. Hey, look, Wolf. The king and queen's portrait fell down. Oh, crap. Uh, sorry. I, I was just looking at it. Get him, Pay. Alexander's an idiot. Well, we know where this is going. Oh, I'm such a fool. Alright, that's okay. I can make this quick, though. Now that I know what I'm doing. My sincere apologies for this. I should have saved a little more often, but I am on a timer. Alexander. This will be quick, because as you can see, there was not much for me to do. The mechan That's an intricate little detail, though. You gotta hang the portrait back up. Very creative. Oh, you like how I'm hiding on the other side of the pillar when I click on the other side? That's pretty cool. I like that. Look at this. All right, I have five minutes to live. Alexander. Now I gotta hurry up, but th this time I know what I'm doing. See, look at how quick this is. This is great. There. I'm sorry, I'm such a fool at this. Confound it! Now I talk to Kasima and I take care of business. Hello? I believe. Okay, see how quick that was? Wasn't so bad. And now the letter. I've <gasps> See, no way that took five minutes. I'm pro. Arg! If only... There we go. Now I can save again. Yay! Now I do things right. Alexander. So I actually really gotta hurry up. Alexander. Alexander. Very creative on the game developer's parts. If you didn't have the brain of a cat wolf, you'd have known that mechanical nightingale wasn't Kazima's nightingale. Oh. I was all for staying on patrol, but you wanted <laughs> to show that thing to Saladin. Staying on patrol. Well, at least the captain wasn't too mad. He's a good honest dog, Saladin is. I err. Wish the same could be said for our... Hush! Do you want to be dazzled, you fool? Yeah, really. Somewhere nearby, a door opens. <clears throat> Greeting, Shamir. Oh! A petulant voice snaps a response at the guards. The wedding is about to begin. Make sure everything is secure. Yes, sir. Footsteps retreat down the hall towards the back hallway. Alexander hears the distant sounds of chains rattling. Ugh. The door opens. There's a small commotion and a woman's sharp cry. Bad Kasima! Gradually, the sounds fade away off to the east. All is silent. That's bad. If it weren't for him being the wizard's page and all, I'd have something to say about that. Wonder where he's taking her. The wedding's the other way. Ooh. You never know with that one. He's always showing up when he shouldn't be and going where he oughtn't. Let's go check it out. I want to hear that dog talk some more. He's freaking great. John Wayne, the guard dog. The guard dog seemed to have stopped at the back hallway. Okay, now I gotta hurry up and head back downstairs. Go faster! Please click the bottom of the screen. Please work. Please work. From downstairs, Alexander hears the first wafting strains of music. 
Ah, oh, crap. It's beautiful music. It's wedding music. Oh! Alexander looks cautiously around the Grand Hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. I gotta hurry this up. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. Is he just going straight forward there by himself? Oh boy! Prince Alexander, here. The wizier will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding. Mm. Since you are of noble birth, I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you. Oh wow. I warned you, it had better be good. Quick save. <laughs> let's go ahead and wait five seconds, this ought to be good. In fact, let's run away. You give me no excuse to save your life, Prince Alexander. You were told to stay away from the castle, but you chose not to listen. I have no choice but to obey the wizier. But Saladin... Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sucks. Tickets. Oh. Next. Evidently, Saladin is a dog to be reckoned with. He is. Now I better hurry up. Here's the letter of betrayal from Shadrach. Wait. If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The Wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. This is treason. I'll have his throat. Nice. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? Ah. Uh. You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the wizier. Especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. Yeah. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy. What? Even enthusiastic. What? I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. <laughs> nice. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. Okay. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. This is intense. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband. But they took Kasima and the other way. Of this realm. What? But Kasima. What are you saying? Do you still claim that the princess is being forced? Perhaps it's you that's the danger, oh. as the wizier has said. Quick save, because this is intense. Let's go somewhere else. Alexander approaches the wedding party. No, I, did, I didn't want to do that yet. I want to show you what happens if I don't. I guess I can't walk anywhere. Give it a second. Give it a second. Maybe nothing will happen. If you refuse oh. to defend yourself, you must have faked the letter. Since you cannot prove your point, I shall prove mine. Nice. Wow! Ooh, there's blood and everything. He got someone himself. It's freaking brutal. Tickets. Oh. I love how they kill me at the wedding. That's so brutal. She loves me. She loves me not. Ooh. No, we're not having that. Hell no. Hell no. Prince Alexander here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? 
You stupid mutt! Can't Ouch. you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! Whoa! <sighs> Lord Alhazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. Nice. This is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! Wow! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. This sucks. Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Um... Why, Captain, Hey. you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Whoa. Obey thy liege now and always. I gotta do something about this. As you wish, princess. This is just pissing everybody off. I'm leaving. If you refuse to... Oh, same thing. God, that's so brutal. All right. But now that we've done that, we know Cosimo is the genie, which means the real Cosimo is being taken somewhere else. This is bad news. Prince Alec, how? Tell me, as you. Okay, there is a way out of this, though. The mirror that shows truth in all things. Look into this mirror, my love, and show us your true heart. Yeah, Alexander. Ooh. That mirror? No. The lovely image of Cosima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Oh! Shamir, you fool! It's not my fault, Master! The illusion was broken! Treason! What have you done with the princess? Enraged, Saladin and the other guard dogs begin advancing on the Wazir. This is intense. You worthless genie! Do something! Ugh. Oh god. Quick save, because this is crazy! Watch this awesomeness go. Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. This is hardcore. Oh! Wow! You like the speed remix of the song? I gotta get going. The genie, finding a free moment in the battle, suddenly realizes that Alexander is still in the room and sends a dazzle spell his way. Crap! Gotcha, Prince Alexander! Oh! That's so brutal! <laughs> this game's great! Miney Mo, Alexander can't be slow. Oh come on, are you really going with that? This game is just plain amusing, I'm telling ya. Get the hell out! Shamir. Not so fast, sucker! This is intense. This tall tower reminds me of King's Quest 2. And sure enough, there is a princess at the top. Haha. Uh -huh. Alexander, be careful, Al Hazard has a sword. Shut up, wench! Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Whoa. Oh jeez. I am master! It's about time, you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master, and then Ha! <laughs> Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! Ugh. Uh, as you wish, master. Razzle, dazzle, snub, and snazzle! I think I better get on this. Time to get drunk, sucker. Look what I have here, my friend. Peppermint. Nice, fresh peppermint. Razzle... Uh... Dazzle! <laughs> Forget the stupid peppermint! Don't you dare even think about it! <laughs> this is amazing! Mm, mint! Oh no! Not now! 
Goku was just so furious! <laughs> Do something! Shamir Shamazel! Kill him! Wow! Send a small... I mean a ball of... <laughs> Light to frazzle! He's so out of it! Dazzle Ball goes wild! Oh jeez! Ooh. You killed my genie! You idiot! Don't you know how valuable he was? You fool! Oh, it's on now. I'll kill you myself for that outrage! Um... So shall it be, El Hazred. Badass. Are you ready? Gah! By my scimitar! Um... I can't run. I will fight you. Alexander's bare hands would have little chance against El Hazred's sword. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. Ooh. Alexander. Oh. No. Ah. Wow. I'm impressed he dodged those first two, though. That's pretty slick. Oh. That's really impressive, but still. Touche. Alexander should have been on guard. Fair enough. Time to kick some ass. You're gonna like this. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. Ooh. Zounds! This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Let's go! Oh jeez, this sucks. So, the mouse would bite? This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Nice. Or should I say, soon feel? Wow, Alexander. This is awesome. Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. What? A tempting offer. But I think I'll wait and see what this sword can do. Nice. Suit yourself. I love the banter during the fights. Reminds me of LucasArts Monkey Island game. Wow, Alexander, damn. Ooh. Yeah! This is serious. This animation is freaking amazing. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. Yeah, really. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! Uh... Not if I can help it, you murderer! Oh, jeez. Kasima oh! thrusts the small dagger into al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. That's gotta hurt. Raise a finger to me. You will regret that, princess. Ooh. You better run. Quick save. Oh, man. But I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn my back to a lion. It wouldn't do to let you gather your strength again, my prince. al Hazred finishes off Alexander with one swipe of his sword. Oh. Whoa! Forgive me, Kasima. Ouch. Alexander! No! That's bad. Tickets up next. Touche. Ugh, sure enough. I didn't give myself much time. But I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn Al Hazra. No, that's not fair. I had I had saved it properly. Yeah. Kasima! Are you alright? 
I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, Princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you? For myself? For my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, Princess? To give me more than your gratitude? Alexander! What are you saying? I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... He's good. Marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? Nice. Superior cutscene of awesome. Um... Uh -huh. He's twitching down there. Guards! Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. Sweet. Yeah, you better go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. One week later, this is where it gets good. Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Cool! Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, Prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Cosima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Cosima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Excellent. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. That's another reason why I would give Very it at the good. beginning of the game. Please place the ring on Kasima's finger. If I hadn't done that, there's just no ring, and it's like, oh, well, that's okay, keep going. Who gives this bride to be wed? That would be me! Ha! <laughs> In the name of King Caliphim, beloved Ooh. friend, I give his daughter Kasima in wedlock. Good man. Thank you, Jalo. Since the groom has no family present, I will speak on his behalf. Alexander, your union with this woman is sanctioned and recognized in the eyes of the community. Thank you, Saladin. Then, Alexander and Kasima, I now pronounce you man and wife. Excellent. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Sounds like more than three people. Hooray! They actually gave three cheers. That's great. Excuse my interrupting your joy, but I have an important question for the new bride and groom. What is it, Saladin? Alexander, Al Hazred hurt this little kingdom nearly to the point of destroying all that we stand for. But you are true and good and have proven yourself to all the people. Thank you, Captain. King Caliphim and Queen Alaria are gone and can never be restored. Al-Hazred has, thankfully, been banished. But we are leaderless. I believe you too can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Al-Hazred has inflicted upon it. Well, hey! Will you too, Alexander and Kasima, Consider becoming the ruling king and queen. Nice. Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Kasima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. I wish my father were here so that I could ask his advice. Yeah, really, King Graham's I'm elsewhere. Missing. And my mother and sister and Daventry. But I love you, Kasima. And I do feel at home here. Somehow, this land and I seem to suit each other. 
I don't know what kind of king I'll make, but I accept. Oh, Alexander, I'm so happy. If only my parents could have been alive to see this day, my joy would be complete. Hmm. I'm sorry I could not spare you that grief, beloved. Yeah, there is kind of... <laughs> King Alexander, there is a long road ahead. The ferry must be repaired before we can reunite the islands. Unfortunately, the islands are still feuding. It will take some time and great diplomacy to convince them to reunite and stop fighting each other. That's true. Yes, Alexander. We will have to try to discover how El Hazred managed to make them hate each other so that we can undo what he has done. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done. Yes. And a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. All right. Long live King Alexander. <laughs> Oh man. Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hell yeah! Hooray! 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 <laughs> the guy. Hooray! Woo! Yes. By the way, Jalo didn't have to be here either. I didn't have to befriend him, so the conversation would have changed a little bit depending on that too. I have exactly one witness at the wedding, like one real guest. The other two are guards. Kind of a lame wedding, even though we got the whole evil bit taken care of, didn't we? Thank you for playing. Hell yeah. Ah, Roberta Williams and Jane Jensen, you are two geniuses. <laughs> I will cut off the game now because you'll get to hear this song in the long playthrough. Don't worry about that. Well, we've done it. We have beaten King's Quest VI, but we're not done with this game. Oh no! As I had said, we got the short ending, and there's still the long ending to acquire. And you must have noticed, during the wedding, that seemed a little... somber, didn't it? I, I mean, there was one guest, Jalo, and the other only witnesses were guard dogs. The only way that Wendy could have been even lamer is if I hadn't befriended Jalo in the first place, so then he wouldn't have been there. And if I hadn't given Kasima the ring, so there would have been no ring. It would have just been plain uncomfortable for everyone. It's just like, well, you're married. And not only that, even with this wedding, it seemed more negative than positive. Congratulations, you beat El Hazred. Too bad there's this problem and that problem and the other problem and a hundred more problems. Can you take care of that for us, please? It's just like, that was an unsatisfying ending. But here's the good news. In the long ending, we address basically everything Captain Saladin decries, and resolve everything he talks about. It's fantastic. And the ending, the wedding reception, is much more satisfying to watch. You'll see what I mean later. So we're going to make things right in the next installment. We're going to use that rain spell. We're going to use the other spells. We're going to take the painter's brush. And we're going to enter an area that we have never yet seen in the game. So there's that to look forward to, and trust me, this is some good stuff. Until next time, everyone. Confound this dungeon! <laughs>